Welcome to another Tech2 unboxing video. This time we have the OnePlus 70 Pro. Now recently the OnePlus 70 had been announced and in under a month we have the next version of the OnePlus coming in. So let's open the box and see what's inside. There you go. So recently they also changed the packaging with a completely full red box and this is how this looks. They have a message on the top which says this is the OnePlus 70 Pro. It's the culmination of all our design and engineering efforts and crafted for those who like us always strive for the very best. So let's open the box. So here's the initial paperwork, all the instruction manuals. We just keep them aside, they aren't really that important. This is the phone, we'll get back to it in a bit. Let's check out the other accessories that are included in the box. So here's the 30T warp charger and apparently this is the fastest charger that OnePlus has built and this, this is the same charger that comes with the OnePlus 70 as well. There's also a clear case inside not that good but it will protect the edges of the device there's the sim card removal tray tool there's the cable usb type a to type c and that's all from the box so we'll keep aside all the contents and get to the phone so here's the oneplus 70 pro let's have a look at the design it fairly looks similar to the oneplus 7 pro but this is how it looks. This is the haze blue variant, which is a new color variant that has come to the OnePlus uh, devices. On the 70, we saw the glacier blue variant. This is the haze blue. And I'm not sure if you can properly see, but there's a nice blue gradient on the rear panel. So let's boot up the device to see how the software, is it different or is it the same? It's based on Oxygen OS 10, so which is Android 10. So this is the OnePlus 70 Pro. It's powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus, which is a slightly overclocked version of the Snapdragon 855. Our review unit is the Haze Blue Edition, so it has 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. It has the same triple rear camera setup that we saw on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So here I have the OnePlus 7 Pro on my left hand and the OnePlus 7T Pro on my right. There aren't many design changes and you wouldn't even notice the changes. We could see in our first unboxing video was the TOF sensor on the back of the OnePlus 7T Pro but every other change has been under the hood in terms of hardware. Just like the OnePlus 7 Pro, the OnePlus 7T Pro also went with the pop-up camera for selfies. So whenever you open the camera app and switch to the front camera, the pop-up camera will pop up. Speaking about the display, it has a QHD plus resolution with a 90Hz refresh rate and HDR10 plus support. It comes with dual front facing stereo speakers which would get quite loud on the OnePlus 7 Pro so you are expecting the same thing on the OnePlus 70 Pro as well. For security you get either the option of using the in-display fingerprint reader or the pop-up camera for face unlock. Coming to the triple rear camera setup. The primary sensor is a Sony IMX586 sensor which shoots photos at up to 48 megapixel. The secondary sensor is a 16 megapixel ultra wide lens which has a field of view of 117 degrees. Finally, the third sensor is a telephoto lens which has a resolution of 8 megapixel and it can go up to 3x optical zoom. With three camera sensors on the rear, there are two interesting features that the OnePlus 7T Pro is capable of doing. The first is macro shots, which is also present on the OnePlus 7T. This feature will allow you to take pictures at a distance of even 2.5 centimeters from the object. The other feature is the flexibility to portrait modes. Earlier, you could only take pictures at one focal length for portrait modes, but this time OnePlus is adding the feature to switch between two different focal lengths when you are taking portrait shots. So that was the OnePlus 70 Pro. The pricing and availability of the device isn't known yet when we were shooting this video, but when we publish this, we will know when the device will be launching and at what price and also all the variants, all the storage variants and everything, all the details will be posted. And also after that, we will be obviously testing the device and 
we will be checking out the camera especially because the OnePlus 7 Pro earlier had some issues with the camera in portrait mode and different uh, lenses so we will be comparing the oneplus 7t pro with the oneplus 7 pro and also the oneplus 7t whether they have much of a difference in the camera assembly since this is slightly different thank you for watching this unboxing video 